Welcome back to Channel Ron. Today I'm going to be working on a jigsaw that I picked up. Uh, it doesn't work. I plugged it in and it's not going anywhere. I even tried to put a screwdriver uh, in here on the fins, kind of spin the motor thinking maybe it was froze up, but it just doesn't function at all. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to open this up and we'll, uh, we'll test the switch. Generally that's all that's wrong with these, but before I go and order anything, I'm going to take it apart and try to diagnose it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first things first, what we're going to need to do is remove the screws that hold it together. And this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So when you take these out, try to pay attention on where they go in because sometimes on this equipment, the, uh, uh, the handle may take a shorter one or maybe the base takes a longer one. I'm not really sure, but uh, with that said, just kind of pay attention to where they come out if you can get them out of there. And you know what? I think I'm going to take this blade out so I don't stab myself with that. So far the screws are all the same size. All right, so what we're trying to do here is we're trying to separate this. Pay close attention as you do this because there may be some things like this guard right here. All right, so when you put this guard back on, you gotta make sure it goes on the right way. Place that off to the side. Okay, I just turned this little adjustment here. That's what takes care of the little cable here. I just loosen that up so I can kind of twist this. All right. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and take the multimeter. And you're going to put it on continuity. All right, if you're not familiar with your multimeter, there should be a place on there with continuity. So you get a tone. That just tells us that we have a, uh, a connection straight through. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the power cord first. So I'm going to place this on here. I'll try to get a close up here for you. On one side here, and then I'm going to find on the switch. Okay. We're going to go ahead and we're going to test one side of the switch. All right. So that's telling us that that side of the power cord is okay. Let's go to this one here. All right, so the power cord is all right. That's a good sign. All right, next we're gonna test the switch. And like the other videos I've shown you <clears throat> with, the, uh, with the skill saw and so forth, um, you need to try to figure out how you're gonna get the, the probes in there. Uh, and again, you, this is always gonna be unplugged. All right, we're not gonna plug this in until it's all back together. So what we need to do is we need to determine if the switch is okay. So we need to get our probe inside there so we can get a good contact. Right. We need to try to get in here, and in here, and in here, and in here. Now these ones are pretty obvious. So when we push that switch, we should be able to get a tone. All right, I can't get in there uh, that good on the switch, so I'm actually gonna just follow the wire over, okay, and it's going right to the first brush, and I'm actually gonna test it there instead. Actually, it's going down here. Oh, guess what? I think I've just found the problem. While trying to find that wire, I think I found the problem why this is not operating. If you look, down here, Let's see if I can get a good shot of this, that wire is not soldered on. Right there. It is broken off. And why it broke off, we have no idea, but it is definitely broken off. So, <laughs> I'm going to guess our switch is okay. Uh, we can still test the switch if we want, but uh, I'm going to guess that that's our problem. Right there, we need to solder that back on. Now the next question is, how do we get down in there to do it? So we're gonna have to remove a few things uh, so we can get the soldering iron down there. So I got some solder, I got the soldering iron. So we're gonna have to somehow move some things around. So I'm gonna move this brush right out of the way. Like that. And I might be able to lift that motor housing up out of there a little bit. Maybe we can just twist a little. Right 
there. So all we need to do, we need to solder that onto there. So I think what I'll do is I'll just take my screwdriver and kind of wedge that down there to keep that from falling. And we'll solder that on. You never know what you're going to get into with these projects. You know, sometimes they're easy, sometimes they're hard. Uh, sometimes they're not even worth fooling with. All right, let's see what we can do. I'm going to put a little solder on either side. So put a little solder on this side. I'm actually going to use that blade to kind of keep this up a little bit. I don't really want to stop melting plastic. All we're going to do is we're going to solder that right on there. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> and then push that back down in there. We install our brush. Okay, well there it is. But unfortunately, we're gonna have to put this together to try it because if I try to plug this in, turn this on, things are gonna start flying all over the place because it actually needs the other side of this to, to kind of keep the motor in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to put this all back together. So you can see there's not a whole lot to these. Uh, a lot of times, like I was really thinking it was going to be the switch because usually that's what it is. Uh, I really wasn't thinking it was going to be a motor problem. <laughs> well, it really wasn't a motor problem, it was just a, the, uh, the wire that was on the motor. So just had to solder it back on. So basically, you know, I use this to troubleshoot it, but as I was looking to see how to test the switch without trying to drive this into the switch, I followed the line down and it went into a connection that wasn't even connected to the motor. So. Well, there it is. <laughs> Not very glamorous, but uh, that's how you fix or troubleshoot a basic little uh, jigsaw. Stay tuned for the next one. <laughs>